Welcome back to Ample One. Today, we will tell you about the ways you can get a green card. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. There are many different ways that someone can get their green card to become a permanent resident of the United States. In this video, we will tell you 15 of those ways. Let's start. 1. Marriage-Based Green Card. If you are in a legitimate, bona fide, marriage with a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident, green card holder, you may potentially be eligible to apply for a green card. A legitimate marriage should be one that is bona fide or true. That means the marriage should not have been entered into purely for immigration benefits. 2. K-1 Fiancé Visa. The K-1 Fiancé Visa is a special type of visa that allows the fiancé of a U.S. citizen to come to the United States. Once the fiancé is in the United States, if the couple gets married within 90 days, the fiancé can apply for their green card through a process called an adjustment of status. 3. Parent of a U.S. citizen that is at least 21 years old. If you are the parent of a U.S. citizen that is at least 21 years old, you may possibly be eligible to apply for your green card through your child. Your U.S. citizen child would need to petition for you by filing a Form I-130 immigrant petition on your behalf. 4. Sibling of a U.S. citizen that is at least 21 years old. If you are the sibling of a U.S. citizen that is at least 21 years old, you may possibly be eligible to apply for your green card based on your relationship to your sibling. Your U.S. citizen sibling would have to petition for your by filing a Form I-130 with USCIS. 5. EB-2 and EB-3 Visa. An employer-sponsored green card is when an employer hires or is able to hire a foreign worker, and through that job offer, they can petition for a green card for the foreign worker. There are several steps involved. The first step is that the U.S. employer must show that they tried to hire a U.S. worker. The U.S. employer must show that they were unable to hire a qualified U.S. worker either because there weren't any qualified, willing and available U.S. workers for the position, or something along those lines. Based on their inability to hire a U.S. worker, the U.S. employer can request authorization from the Department of Labor to hire a foreign worker. This is referred to as the PERM labor certification process. The two visa classifications that correspond to the employer-sponsored green card process are the EB-2 visa and the EB-3 visa. The appropriate visa classification, EB-2 versus EB-3, will ultimately depend on your job duties. If your position requires an advanced degree, then you will likely fall under the EB-2 visa classification. If your position is an unskilled position, you will likely fall under the EB-3 visa classification. 6. EB-1A. The EB-1A green card is for people with extraordinary ability in the sciences, business, athletics or the arts. This green card option is for people at the very top of their field. Through the EB-1A green card, someone can apply for a green card without having an employer or family sponsor. To demonstrate extraordinary ability, Someone may show evidence of awards, high remuneration, publications, and various other types of evidence. 7. EB-2 National Interest Waiver, NIW. The EB-2 National Interest Waiver is another option to obtain a green card through self-petition. This green card option is specifically for people who will be coming to the United States to work in a field that is in the national interest of the United States. 8. EB-5 Visa. The EB-5 visa is a green card option for investors looking to invest in the United States and create jobs for U.S. workers. The minimum investment amount to qualify for an EB-5 visa is $900,000. This investment must lead to the creation of 10 full-time jobs for U.S. workers. Through the EB-5 visa, someone can qualify for a green card for themselves, their spouse, and their unmarried children under 21 years old. 9. EB-1B Visa. The EB-1B Visa is a green card option for outstanding professors and researchers. This green card option is for individuals coming to the United States to work as a professor or a researcher, provided that they can demonstrate that they are of outstanding ability. They can do this by showcasing their accolades such as publications, citations to their work, 
and various other criteria that reflect their accomplishments in their field. 10. EB1C Visa The EB1C Visa is a green card option for multinational managers or executives. This category allows an individual working for a foreign company to transfer to a related U.S. company either as a manager or executive. This individual must have worked for the foreign company for at least one year full-time as a manager or executive. After they complete at least one full year in a managerial or executive role in the foreign company, they must seek to come to work for the U.S. company as either a manager or executive as well. 11. Diversity Visa Lottery the U.S. government has a policy interest in making sure that we continue to maintain a nation that contains a diverse group of people of all backgrounds and cultures. Therefore, through the diversity visa lottery, the U.S. government reserves a certain number of green cards for people that come from countries that don't necessarily have a large representation in the United States. For example, if a particular country does not have a large representation in the U.S., citizens of this country can apply for the diversity lottery. If an individual gets selected in the lottery, he or she can apply for a special visa to come to the U.S. once in the U.S., the individual can apply for an adjustment of status to get their green card. 12. VAWA, Violence Against Women Act. VAWA is also known as the Violence Against Women Act. This green card option is available to men and women, even though the name might suggest it is only available to women. Typically, this option is for individuals that have suffered abuse from either a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident, green cardholder, that they were married to. There are multiple categories of people that may potentially qualify for VAWA including the spouse of an abusive U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident, the child of an abusive U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident, or the parents of an abusive U.S. 13. T-Visa this T-Visa is a green card option which is available to victims of human trafficking. 14. U-Visa The U-Visa is a green card option available to individuals who are victims of certain crimes in the U.S. This green card option is designed for individuals who have suffered some form of physical or mental abuse as a result of being a victim of a qualifying crime. 15. EB-4 Visa the EB-4 visa is a green card option that has quite a few subcategories. However, one of the most common categories of the EB-4 visa is for certain religious workers. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.